Hey Dell. Was just wondering if you could take a look at my assassination build for Rogue. It's based on using System Shock with Mark for Death to get two System Shocks off in a short period of time. Talent Tree. Honor Talents. System Shock is mandatory for the build to work. Cheap Shot Garot Mutilate Rupture at 5 CP Mutilate. This is the setup phase. Now, proceed to Vendetta, Vanished Kingsbane, Toxic Blade, Mutilate, Envenom, Mark for Death, Envenom. This is the bursting phase, when the last Envenom hits, the target should drop dead, or succumb to poison. If however, the target survives this burst, mutilate up to 5 CP to refresh Rupture and Garot again. Continue to spam Envenoms as often as possible until the target drops. <laughs> Are you streaming, bro, Tater? <laughs> Not ATM. What up, dudes? What up, peeps? Anyway, today we're gonna be taking a look at a build sent by a viewer. And the setup is very interesting. Night Stalker, and he wanted me to run it 10 to kill. I won't run it because I feel like I get more mobility with money or ability. So, for that case, I will just, um, I will have to omit one of the talents. Uh, I should stay to the talent and, you know, Stay to the clear uh, theme for it, but there's a lot to practice here, a lot to line up for this burst. The main burst is the Vendetta, Vanished, Kingsbane, Toxic, Mark for Death, bam, bam, bam. That's gonna be weird. Oh, fuck, we don't have Mark for Death. Shit. Well, we'll have to give this a try without Mark for Death, and we'll see. If this doesn't go well without Mark for Death, well, then we'll go without Mark for Death. But I'll probably run this again and try to show you guys after practicing this a bit. Some damage mark for that. I basically just ran into that trap. What the fuck am I doing? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Bam. Okay, that was, I mean, a lot of damage, I guess. Blind. What? It broke. Really? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> Fucking mages, man. I hate them. Yeah, gonna get glacial and everything. Fuck you. Fuck you, mage. Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna ice block and then use my basic spells to slow you to fucking shit. Thanks, Blizzard. Good fucking game. Let's slow this fucker to fucking literally crawling space, crawling speed. Why? I don't know, because I'm a mage. Fuck you. That's why. Hmm, <laughs> this isn't going well for me. Yep, not going well for us at all. Yeah, I don't know. If I had like subterfuge, then at least I could see, see multiple targets. So, I don't know. I, I understand what they're going with this build. It's all about dealing as much burst as possible. Lining it up has been fucking difficult so far because you don't get the whole more damage with Garo. I guess you're supposed to open up a cheap shot. You can't really control the full field. <sighs> That's gonna be real. This, this build is gonna be, I'm telling you ahead of time, really annoying to line up. This isn't gonna be fun to line up. This is gonna be fucking doing work and not fun kind of work okay that was one lineup that was one lineup that wasn't every single lineup that was just one of them and it kind of worked out but it was so fucking difficult to get together nope oh my god bro you either see this guy or fucking kill him one of the other enhancement one of the other enhancement is this guy gonna fall off That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Fall, bro. Fall! <laughs> there he goes. Whew, okay. Okay, maybe I could see this. The setup though is fucking ridiculous. Why would you why would you want to have to line up two Mark for Death back to back? You already play an assassination and you already have the specialization which has a Garot to line up, you already have rupture to line up. So your opener you can omit a st like you're, you're gonna have a short stun opener that's basically what you're playing with that's what you're choosing to play with when you play the specialization you already are gonna have like a a backed up opener more or less why would you want to add all these extra abilities to it oh my god i'm dead 100 percent dead execute yep Executing and I'm fucking dead. Like if I if in that situation I had subterfuge, I could stun them both. I could have stunned them both. Got rooted. <laughs> you gonna walk him off? There he is. Bye. Have a great time. Except the enemy captain us twice, so that's not gonna work out that well. 
Oh shit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on, get over here. I didn't have Vanish, so I couldn't get to him. I thought I had Vanish. Fuck, this is retarded. But this is why Vanish should- Why would you want Vanish to be an offensive cooldown? It just doesn't line up. You're looking at uh, under two minute cooldown abilities that can line up with each other from time to time. Normally this is where I would have Vanish so I can use it to run the fuck away, but I guess not here. Not today. Oh my god, that was such a bad lineup. It just, ah, uh, it seems so awkward. I think I can do this. Maybe we can line up on one person, because, holy fuck, this is going to be difficult if my team, <laughs> sort of Popinski, this is going to be difficult if my team is, um, how you say, nub. So, yeah, if my team isn't really all that great, then I need them to be a reason for enemies to focus on them instead of me, so I can kind of do my thing in the background as a well. rogue. Because I feel like with this setup, if the enemy team interrupts any part of my plan, I kind of lose a lot of momentum. So then this becomes not worth playing at all. Whoa, did they change it so you can put on toys again? Dude, they enabled toys again! Oh fuck yeah, I'm gonna be a picky old dwarf. Gonna be a picky old green-eyed bitty old dwarf. They changed the toys again, gang! Like, what the fuck? They disabled toys at one point. Dude, that looks so fucking cool. I like his mug. I actually had that helm. Or I wanted- I either had that helm or I wanted it on my other priest. Fuck yeah, let's go fam, let's go! Gonna stop him right there. Can't go nowhere. Oh, oh my god, that Fury Warrior made it through! What a psycho! His name is Psycho. That's so cool. Okay, this guy is not gonna be the target. We cannot kill him. We can kill him like that, but not with the massive burst that we were kind of setting up for. Uh, I kind of want to go where the rest of the enemy team is at, because I need to go and get that kill. Okay, well, we're going to line up on this guy then. How about it? Bam! Oh, no! Come over here! Ha! Nope, didn't take the full damage, though. Holy fuck, that guy's just healing everybody. That's not cool. I blame the build. <laughs> I literally cannot get any kind of lineup. I can't get a lineup. Like if I had a uh, subterfuge at that point, while I'm sneaking around, I could have maybe stunned, stun, right? Get a little bit of control, but I could just cheap shot one guy or garrot one guy. An assassination being able to maximize the opener with a silence and a stun that you have. A fucking silence. How many classes have a fucking blanket silence in the game? Having a silence like that is so much more worth. Plus, it deals more damage with subterfuge than Night Stalker. Double the reason for you to go, uh, subterfuge. Just double the reason. It just makes no sense not to. Stun him here, though. Mmm, just getting trapped all day. Okay, well, I have my burst set up. Uh, I just need to have the freedom to deal the damage needed in order to make this shit happen, please. Oh my god, seriously? Take take that MC off right now. Nope. Oh my god. That's what I was saying! A fucking MC took my- whatever CC, whatever the CC was just now, just took off all of my dots. Just like that. There's no point, your dots just fall off and- This is the Death Star! The Death Star effect is real! It just happened in front of my eyes! Any piece- any piece of my- any piece of my big plan, even a fucking cleanse that cleanses my poisons off, literally kills my whole plan. My envenoms become fucking useless, look at this. Bam! Fucking hand of freedom, can't do anything. Literally can't do shit against this guy now. Ha! <laughs> get over here! Well, I hit him twice. He didn't die. <laughs> I hit him twice. But it d did it make a difference? Nope. I hit him fucking twice with that shit. Did it die? Nope. Did it matter? Nope. Not really. Whew. I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead, boys. Yep, fucking dead. Ah, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I am a master knight thrower. That's all I am. That's all I can be. That's all I will become. Okay, well, this is as good as it'll get, really. Dude, that's how much damage you could do without any vanishes. 
You can do this much damage without vanish, so stick for instead Night Sucker back to Subterfuge. Learn how to play around with Subterfuge, it'll actually benefit you a ton more. You'll get a decent opener with every setup and even more damage. Nightblade should be used maybe if you vanish Rupture, but even then you don't use it in PvP. Alright, this is the most amount of damage I'll be able to do, unless I just get polyed all day. That's fine too. That's fine. That's okay, I'm just gonna vanish this. Artifact weapon, bam, bam. BAM! That's the old. that's the first time today that I've- at all, in a whole fucking day that I was able to actually get that style of uh, damage built up together. That is the first time I was able to actually pull it off. Because goddamn, the setup is insane for this. The setup, not the damage, but the setup, the actual abilities you use back to back, is fucking nuts. Is actually fucking nuts. Fucking get it back over here, you fucking- ha! Ah, hit you with that. Yeah, now I'm not playing by the rules anymore. I'm not playing by a build that's designed by another viewer. I'm playing my own fucking way. I'm not gonna vanish and hit my artifact weapon. Fuck you. <laughs> I instead, I'm just going to go back to subterfuge and deal more damage. Whew, okay. As you can tell by my frustration from those BGs, I did not completely enjoy the build. Now, there's a couple reasons behind it. And before I go on, I want to say this. This build didn't feel good to play. Dalaran, you're just not used to the rotation. You're not used to the burst rotation. You'll get used to it eventually. What do you mean it doesn't feel good to play? I've been playing Rogue long enough to go by the feel of things at this point. You can look at numbers, right? Oh, okay, this number here, we have this much critical strike. So if I combine my fucking pie charts together and I get this mathematical equation of 3.3 repeating, of course, nobody plays like that. If you play the class long enough, and I'm pretty sure everybody would know. When you play a class long enough, you actually get to feel for the class. If something doesn't feel right, or something feels off, or doesn't feel quite powerful, like, let's say you're trying to one build in PvE, like raiding, you're not dealing quite enough damage. Like, you, can, you don't even need to have Skata available just to see that you're doing less damage. You know something is off. You know something's wrong. So it's kind of one of those experiences. So I'm going to talk on base of that, how I felt playing the spec. It didn't feel good to play, it didn't feel wholesome, it didn't feel particularly good. It's basically taking a build that's already existing and a place that already exists for assassination, but you're trying to almost force some PvE aspects to it. In PvP, the reason I uh, Subterfuge feels good is because you can get three stuns back to back to back, you can get three garrotes back to back, it's a lot more CC, and your openers matter. Your openers also allow your garrote to deal more damage, and when you get an opener with a garrote on a healer, and then you get your full lineup of damage, that garrote actually makes the damage feel so much better. Night Stalker is alright. The reason garrote feels good in PvP is because it's just one and done. And with Night Stalker, you have to build it up, vanish, garrote. For a boss, it actually feels powerful because we don't have all the different reductions for damage. For PvP, this feels weird. And to put Night Stalker as an offensive ability, basically making Vanish an offensive ability for our already specialization that doesn't have as much mobility as the other two and has Crimson Vile as a defensive capability to counteract the fact that you just don't have enough of mobility to stay defensive for yourself basically takes away Vanish as an, an ability. It takes away Vanish as an ability. Because you can use Vanish to triple cheap shot a team. Wow, Assassination got a lot of utility all of a sudden. Triple, uh, triple uh, Garrote, a full team of casters. Wow, you locked everybody out. Nobody can play. And now you're spreading damage. And Night Stalker to make Vanish an offensive ability. Now you have a two minute cooldown. Another thing I said earlier is the two minute cooldown for Vanish doesn't really line up well with Vendetta, uh, Kingsbane, or Toxic Blade. Assassination has fairly short cooldowns because this specialization doesn't really have much more to it. But Assassination, you're pretty straightforward. You deal decent damage and you have some basic CC, but you can't just do some kind of a crazy setup. You kind of have to use, like, your, even your kidneys have to be used offensively because of internal bleeding per and weak kind of combo. You are straightforward just to train a target for the most part. Maybe cleave two targets and then swap your targets from time to time, but that also comes with a setup, so you're already investing time setting it up. And every time you have time setting it up, you really feel a lot slower and when you feel a lot slower then it makes it that much easier to get your kill because you have a long way to set up compared to somebody who can just chuck a chaos bolt at you out of literally nowhere with no setup but their own personal cooldowns system shock itself is not that bad um i don't use it particularly that often but it can work i don't blame anybody for using it creeping venom ends up being a little bit better for single target system shock works against like paladins so that's the time i would use system shock but in this row just even flying daggers and bgs would work more wondrous they have spare pressure capability you have aoe capability and when you have Van vanish to be able to triple cheap shot enemy while still applying pressure with your phantom knives and dotting everybody all over the place with night blade uh with ruptures 
you have such more of a wholesome specialization. Literally, so much more of a wholesome spec. Another thing you also included is intent to kill. <laughs> I don't know why anyone thinks this ability is good. Basically makes your shadow step useless. You have maneuverability, which makes your sprint a lot more viable against casters against people that slow you down so you can get away or get in a situation get around and catch up allowing you to use your shadow step a little more carefully for specialization doesn't have that much mobility intent to kill reduces it by 66 percent so it means you can keep shadow stepping on the target of your choosing but in most cases when you're just shadow that it's constricting shadow step viability of extra mobility to your vendetta seems just like such a bad idea such a bad idea I would rather take maneuverability so I can have a lot more mobility at a 47 second cooldown. Which is a lot lower than Vendetta. And it's a shadow step. Uh, yes, it can maybe work against a melee when you use a shadow step and you keep using uh, using Vendetta and shadow step to get the dodge chance. But that's really as far as it would go. Otherwise, I'd say maneuverability or shiv. Shiv at least is a straight up slow. Slows the enemy by 70% for 4 seconds, every 10 seconds, no energy required, cannot be paired, blocked, or dodged. It's always going to stick. Like, those two just seem so much more value than the intent to kill. This seems like a bad talent and I hope Blizzard changes it out eventually. Maybe there's like one situation where intent to kill would work. Maybe get some crazy ass, mobile ass monk and you know that you can kill him without Vendetta. But right now, unless he's like dampening, is it about 40-50%-ish, you can't just like global him. As an assassination, this isn't the beginning of the patch. This is 7.2.5. So definitely wouldn't go intent to kill. The rest of your talents, I mean, they seem pretty straightforward. I just don't know why Nightstalker over Subterfuge. You can still take Toxic Blade if you wish, but I don't really know. Anyway, that has been it for me for the build. Grek, thank you for the build, dude. If you guys get builds yourselves, feel free to voice them in the comments below and I'll give them a try. I will rake them and I will... Try them out hardest. I'll tell you what I like, what I don't like about it, and know there's a viability to it. But for the current build, I feel like with some adjustments, it could be more viable, because it just seems like you're kind of gimping yourself right now. Anyway, you guys take it easy.